We are in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And we just got done eating at a place called Sammy's. We had, <laughs> so, well, I had raw oysters. We had crawfish. We had alligator. It was fantastic. People said we needed to try it out and I'm glad we did. She's not so happy that we tried it out. <laughs> she got like this oyster sandwich. Po' oh boy, I guess. Oyster po' boy, and uh, anyway, she's a texture person. It didn't have the texture she liked. Okay, anyways, that's not what this video is about. We made a seven hour drive down here last night because, surprise, <clears throat> we're getting a duck dog. <laughs> we are actually getting a uh, German short haired pointer, which is not the most conventional duck dog, but uh, lots of people have them. They're, you know, they got high drive, they're highly trainable, they make great retrievers, and just kind of we've always kind of wanted one. So we made the drive down here. We're going to pick up our German, German short haired pointer today. We're a little bit nervous uh, because all the responsibilities that a puppy brings, <laughs> but I think we can handle it. It's been a while. We just lost our Great Dane like five months ago. So it's been a long time since we've been, he was like 10 years old. And so it's been a long time since we've been through the puppy stage. So we're a little bit nervous about that. Uh, I'm no stranger to obedience training. And that's kind of what I want to do is like, I want to uh, do like a video series of going through like his training and things. Uh, but I am a stranger to retriever training, duck dog training, etc. But we have a trainer that we're going to work with for that. And so I want to document all that. I think it'll be really cool. We are excited. We're just nervous. Yes. So come with us and we'll go get our new Duck Dog Jacks. Whew. So, uh, he finally just slowed down. <laughs> We're too old for a puppy, man. <laughs> He's already wearing us out. He finally just slowed down, passed out. We've already had one pee in the room. We did get him to poop outside. He's already drawn blood. He's got little talons, dude, and he loves my beard. But um, he has been, uh, he's fearless. He, he's had no problem running all around, jumping on things, doing whatever, which is which is really cool to see. He hasn't been scared of anything. And he did really well on the leash too, right off the bat. Um, which sometimes, you know, they turn into little bucking Broncos. But uh, he, he's done really good, like having his collar on for the first time, the leash first time. Uh, he's gone in the crate by himself and, and, and checked that out. So we're excited. Uh, the big challenge is gonna be, we got the seven hour drive tomorrow to get back home and then uh, introducing him to the cats. Is gonna be a whole thing. We have two uh, house cats, Mac and Goose, and uh, yeah, they're, they're not gonna be happy for a little while, I imagine. So we'll have to document all that. I figure this probably this first video will be us just like um, introducing them to to new things and and maybe doing a little bit of uh, clicker training with them. Just what's called charging the clicker, where you get them used to the clicker being the sound of "Hey, you did something good." Um, and then, you know, just checking out the house. So we've got a long road ahead of us. That is for certain, literally, literally a long road <laughs> ahead of us. Uh, but we're really excited about it. When we were talking to, um, the guy that we're going to use to, to do the training, whenever we get to the point where we need to do some retriever training and duck dog training and whatnot, uh, he said with, with, uh, GSPs, it is really important to make sure that they have like a, a history or of or, or come from a bloodline or kennel that that has high drive or has um, hunters, you know, within that that bloodline. And so uh, that's one of the reasons we drove all the way down here is because uh, he has uh, a lot of, you know, different like uh, 
uh, field champions or master hunters, et cetera, where they do like these trials uh, in his bloodline. And so we're trying to give the best chance we can <laughs> to this GSP puppy for him to be in a, a really good duck dog. And at the end of the day, you know what? If he's not, he's not. But um, we're hoping that uh, he does turn into a good duck dog and we're we're ready for the, for the challenge of of training them up and going through all that so i hope that you guys um will hit subscribe and and like the videos and follow along because uh, i think it'll be a pretty cool process to document anywho like i said he's passed out right now this is probably the rest of our night sitting in the hotel room might order some pizza and try to keep him from uh acting a fool and waking up the uh <laughs> waking up the people in the rooms next door and then in the morning we'll just hit the road oh i'm sorry do i look tired Maybe it's because the puppy woke us up at 6 a.m. Actually. And at 3 a.m. <laughs> and at 5.30 a.m. And at 3 a.m. and at 5.30 a.m. But to be fair, dude, he actually did really well. Like, uh, he, he went through different phases where he was um, crying or whatever, but like we shushed him back to sleep. He slept in his crate. And uh, he did. He actually did really well. No accidents, anything like that. Uh, and then at about six, which is when he's used to getting up and, and eating uh, with the people that, that we got him from, that ain't gonna happen with us. But we went ahead and got up. <laughs> and by we, I mean my wife went ahead and got up and, <laughs> and fed him. Uh, and then we put him in the bed and he did spectacular from there on. Like he just laid in the bed and, and when he woke up, he just, he, we have like a little uh, chew for him and he chewed that and he was he was perfect until we decided to get up at like 9 a.m let me move this down just look i got my church shirt on my holy shirt but he's done really well he's done uh haven't didn't have any poop accidents in the hotel room we had some pee ones but you know that's not really our problem that's their problem but it says pet friendly you know we brought pee pads and thought okay he had pee pads like in his uh whelping box or whatever he was <laughs> he basically went as far away from those to pee as he could but hopefully from here on out i've never been a big like fan of pee pads anyway so we'll be getting them to go outside and bringing them outside constantly which will be a whole lot easier than when we're four stories up in a holiday inn. and he cried every time he wanted to go poop he, he didn't want to do it in the uh in the hotel room yeah. yeah yeah he would he would definitely let us know when he had to poop he'd start whining and stuff and we pick him up bring him down there and he'd go it was actually really cool He's been a good little boy. He's back there right now. Let me see if I can show you. Uh, let me turn this off. And then, oh, uh, uh, you can't really see his crate. <laughs> but he's back there. He's been super quiet. He's been super good. Uh, we've got another six hours or so to go. Eh, five hours and 29 minutes to go. And uh, we'll, we'll let him out about halfway when we switch out to uh, make, I'll make the last leg of the drive. And then the real fun starts because we've got to introduce them to the cats. So, stay tuned. Seven hours later, we got a little, he did really good on the ride. We made a couple stops to let him out to go to the bathroom. I'm tired, he's tired. And now we get to introduce cats to the mix. So our thought is we'll bring him in. <laughs> he's tuckered. Let them sniff him through the, the crate and whatnot. Let them hiss, cause they're probably gonna hiss and then see what happens. I don't know, dude. <laughs> this is new territory for us. They're gonna be excited to see us, but confused when we brought someone else. Hi. What's in this? I don't know what it is. 
What is this? I wanna see. Look. <laughs> What's in there? It's all swift up. What is that? You got a new brother? They're like, no, not another one. <laughs> look at Goose. <laughs> oh, they're both look at Goose, dude. All his hair's oh, on him. Hey, Goose. It's okay, bud. <laughs> he is, he is hey. not a fan. Goose, it's okay. Come here, buddy. Hey, come here. It's okay, bud. Look, it's all right. You don't have to have all your hair standing on end. Look at Max. <laughs> Look at him. Hey, it's okay, bud. I've never seen his tail like that. I haven't either. I've never seen his back like that. It's okay, Goose. buddy. That thing's not gonna hurt you. He's tiny, he's smaller than you are. Jacks for about five days now. The cats are getting better. We've actually, first and foremost, <laughs> we've uh, puppy proofed our living room here. If you can see the, we have some gates over here and some gates over here because it's important that you keep an eye on them all the time. And uh, so whenever we're in here doing something, we just try to keep him locked in here with us. It's a nice space that we can just kind of like keep an eye on him at all times. But this little guy, he's been asleep like seven hours. Uh, he, it was his first day. He went to, to work with us today and, uh, he, it was a long, exciting day. He couldn't, he wanted to go to sleep, but he couldn't make himself go to sleep. So then when he finally fell asleep, it was like a seven hour nap. As you can see, this is the result now. <laughs> He's got his toys over there and there's a lot of distractions, but I thought I'd show you guys what we've kind of been working on him with. We did what was called charging the clicker, which basically just means that, and we'll see if we can get his attention here. Um, that we're getting them used to the sound of this uh, being a good thing and, and knowing that there's a treat coming. So basically, Jax, Jax, hey, Jax. Just like that. So every time um, he hears that clicker, he knows there's a reward coming. So we've done three or four, maybe five sessions of charging the clicker. And now what we're trying to work on is the is his clicker training to recall. He's excited, he wants to. Eat. Um, so basically what that looks like is we do something like this. We tell him, come here. He touches his tiny little nose to the hand and then he gets some treats. Perfect. So let's see if we can create a little separation. Jack's here. Good boy. And so for a seven week old puppy, with a room full of toys, <laughs> fresh off of a seven hour nap. <laughs> I feel like he's doing all right. He's uh, He's been a really smart dog. Here, here. Try to move away from him, see if he wants to come back. There we go, good boy. Good boy. He's doing really pretty well with his potty training. He's sleeping pretty well in his crate. He throws a fit for a little while, but um, he goes back to sleep. We've been able to, he gets up at about four or five hours. Uh, but last night, here. <laughs> there you go, good boy. Last night, um, we were able to bring him back to bed after he got up at about seven. 
and uh, he went right back in his crate and went to sleep. So he might be growing. He might be going through a quick growth spurt <laughs> and doing a lot of sleep. Hey, he doesn't like to work for his food sometimes. Jax, Jax, here. Jax, Jax, here. Come here, here, here. Good boy. So essentially, this is the extent of it. And what I want to do with the series is it's kind of show as we go through and teach things like like sit and and place and all that kind of stuff. But this is kind of new to me, the whole clicker training thing. Uh, what I've done in the past has been more old school, but I do kind of get the theory behind this and like, it, he does it because he wants to do it, not because I want him to do it, you know? Okay, hold on. Here. Good boy. Jack's here. Good boy. You're the best boy. Anyways, that is our new little puppy, Jax, the German short-haired pointer. We're really excited to get into some training and get him into his school and teach him to retrieve and become a good duck dog. And if you guys are interested in following along with that, definitely make sure to subscribe. Hit the thumbs up if you think he's cute. Got you there. And then we'll see you on the next video, which should be hopefully pretty soon.